Okay, next, let's take a look at uh, the stomach. The stomach secretes gastric juice, which is a mixture of hydrochloric acid and two enzymes, renin and pepsin. They have different function. Let's take a look at hydrochloric acid first. Hydrochloric acid is not really an enzyme, so it is there to kill bacteria. Bacteria, when exposed to acid, acidic condition like pH 2, they will die because the pH level is not really um, favorable for them to reproduce. So that's why they die. Um, stop the action of slivery amylase, of course, because the pH, the optimum pH of slivery amylase is 7. So when it's exposed to pH 2 of hydrochloric acid, it will start to denature and it doesn't work anymore. Provide a slightly acidic medium suitable for the action of gastric enzyme. So that means it helps to promote the action of renin and pepsin. Enzymes are produced in an inactive form, pepsinogen and proranin. Both of them, when they come into contact with hydrochloric acid, they will become active. And then hydrochloric acid is only found in this cavity. It's not found in the layer of stomach. So the pepsinogen will not be activated until it reaches the cavity of the stomach. Okay? Which are converted by the acid into active pepsin and renin converted by exposure to hydrochloric acid. Pepsin digests protein into polypeptides and peptones. Renin will convert soluble protein casinogen into insoluble casein. Okay, only protein is digested in the stomach. So the stomach is specifically there for digestion of protein. The end product of stomach, that means the moment the content of the stomach comes out over here, comes out over here, we call it acidic kind. Okay, so you know, digestion, when food enter here, they start to stay here for two to six hours for digestion. Subsequently, they'll come out from the stomach. So whatever food that come out from the stomach or whatever solution that come out from the stomach, we call it acidic chyme.